test this gear system. Now this is gonna strip out. These gears in here are gonna strip out. That's just all there is to it. Because they're printed. So, uh, I fully expect that, which is totally fine. The idea is that if these work better than the other ones, then I can have, I can, I can hopefully eventually see and see these out of an alloy and we will be in business for my four to one. It's just a matter of which machine. I think the Makira from Carvera or the Makira Carvera Air, I think that, I think that would work or the standard Carvera if I need more accessibility. <laughs> This is not going to last long. <laughs> okay, so cross your fingers because I've got it kind of barely sitting up there. longest run I've ever had on a planetary and that was impressive so this design is actually gonna work I just need to get it done in metal uh, I've got to have a, a CNC I think that desktop I think the May Kira Carvera or the Carvera era would be a perfect candidate for this it's okay I gotta show you this after action here now this was um, done out of carbon fiber reinforced nylon. I didn't lose the teeth on these gears. I, I thought that's what happened. It didn't. It actually rounded off this, and I think this was done out of the same material, carbon fiber reinforced nylon, I think. So it's just this connection shaft that rounded off right here. That was it. Now I'd have to reprint the sun gear, obviously. But that means that the system worked good. I didn't lose any teeth on that. It would have kept going if it didn't lose that shaft that rotates this fan. That's what rotates this fan right here. Okay. Usually I lose the sun gear or I lose the planetaries or I lose the ring. I didn't lose any of that. It had enough torque to strip out this right here and if this was more rigid uh, it would work usually that's what I lose are those teeth that did not happen this time this is that's amazing that's oh how I wish I could mill this out of alloy and yes I've already tried 3d printing this in metal it didn't work because the SLS printer that they used um, wasn't accurate in the least and I ended up with this amalgamation here um although i might be able to use the sun gear i don't know use the sun gear for the middle of this one you might have something there I put the aluminum gear at the center i don't know if it's gonna seat properly all the way we're gonna see what happens it may last a while it may not last at all but we're gonna see if this gets any more any more juice any more power i'm getting out of the way <laughs> Now, at this point, I had been dealing with 3D printed gears and stripping them out like crazy. It was not, it, nothing held. Now, this carbon fiber reinforced nylon seems to be holding quite nicely, except for that center shaft, that sun gear and the center shaft. So, while the teeth survive the entire ordeal, the idea is that I want to get this printed in an alloy, not printed, but CNC'd in an alloy. So, I'm thinking the Makira. Carvera Air 
and its fourth axis bundle is going to be my best bet in this situation. Here we go with run number, what, three? I think we're on three. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Okay, uh, the one thing I didn't notice is that it actually jumped out. The motor jumped forward out of the, the holder, so <laughs> I need to put some screws in there. Um, I think it'll run again, but like, the point is I do need to alloy this planetary gear system, and then we will have something that works. So I kind of hope that you enjoyed watching what you saw, and there will be more, so don't miss it.